guys, it's Lucy here and Kelly and welcome to another episode of Life is Sweet. Today we are excited, we are pumped and we can't wait to dive into talking about wrestling. wrestling. One of our favourite topics today is all about wrestling. Yay! We are coming off watching Battleground which was awesome. It had everything and we were just so excited to be watching it and of course Sasha Banks winning the Women's Championship. Woo woo woo! Boss. And a dreamer. And so a dreamer. that brings us to what today we wanted to talk about because a while back we did a video on here about our top five matches that we were involved in. But it occurred to us we did not mention matches from before we came to America. Because for those of you who don't know, before we headed across the pond to Louisville, Kentucky, we wrestled for five years in England. We started at Future Shock in Manchester, yep. wrestled for SAS, wrestled for GMP, Chick Fight, just to name a few. And we had lots of memorable moments yes. and lots of awesome matches that thinking of them now just make us smile, make yes. us laugh and it was just the good old days and we had so much fun. So let's get to it. Okay, our first match is one that we, it's hilarious. Can't remember the place, can't remember the name. We can't but... remember the place or the name but these are two guys that we absolutely, absolutely adore wrestling. They are Danny Hope and Joey Hayes. Now they still wrestle today back in England and they are awesome. They were like two of our absolute favourite people to wrestle and we wrestled them three times I want to say and every time it was just so much fun and just what wrestling was all about. Because it was learning experiences for yes. us because we used to wrestle the guys all the time and that was where like that we was just everything it. to us. We learned so much. We loved it. It was just wrestling, all about the wrestling. Yeah. And we'd wrestled them before this match, this match in this talking. place that we have no I idea. I think it was Fryston and there's Fryston. a hilarious Free side point, Freeston or Fryston. We were in the car with them, we loved travelling to shows with them, and we were running late, and it, we were, Joey Hayes was trying to read a map, and then all then of a sudden, dark, and then we couldn't see the map. map, the GPS didn't work, and we couldn't see the map, and we had to stop off at a gas station, try and get directions, and it turned out that we were Two heading places. towards a place that had the same name, but wasn't the place but we, we needed to be. we can't remember the name, so, so it can't be that, the, can't be no, that. I, well, no, I'm sure we have it right, but then we had to travel to the show, which, we got there just as the first match was on, we had to change and also a side point for this match, that was the first time we got our new wrestling gear and it was the first awesome. time, yes, it was the first time we wore our sparkly pink and white wrestling gear but it was a long top. Can it get green? No, no, this was when we had the sparkling tops. It was the first time we wore it. And so we quickly changed into that and we were like, new gear. Ha! <laughs> it was exciting. This was that every wrestler's and dream of yes. when you have the boot, you lace in your boots and stuff and then your music's already playing. Yeah. This was legit one of those times for us, like border on, because we literally what? walked into that venue, walked into the little tiny bathroom where we used to get changed. Yeah. And got our gear on and then our music hit and we were like, right, Danny and Joey, see you well, out there. Luckily like, for that's us, what we had to do. Yeah, but because we'd wrestled them before, it was just like, it, we are, we've said it before in videos, we get nervous. We, we want to do our best and we get nervous. So they, but with the guys, it was just like, okay, let's do this. We're going to go out there, take teenage kicks and RKOs and it's just going to be fun because that's what wrestling is. It was fun. So yeah, anytime we wrestled Danny and Joey. The models, Danny it, yeah, and Joey. Yeah, the models, it was just Fun. It was and that's hilarious, what it was, all it was about. awesome, and that was probably one of our favourite, favourite memories, even though we can't give you the place, you know the, memories. the day, the time. It it's all in here. It's probably all in a scrapbook somewhere. You hear, it's in a scrapbook. It was Fryston or something. I Fry think they won. Yes. Yeah, they won. I think Due they to probably a teenage kick and an RKO. RKO. See? Yeah, I remember that. But that was one of our favourite memories. So yeah. again, Danny and Joey, we absolutely had a blast wrestling them, travelling the with time. them. It was awesome and it's still one of the one Highlight. like highlights and road trips that we will laugh and tell our husbands about or if somebody asks oh, us, yeah. we'll still be talking about it to this day it because fun. it was seriously hilarious. The and one you were talking about, by the way, when we were in our pink and green was at a GMP show in the place we went to every month and that was where we had El Ligero, Bubblegum, Chris Travis, everybody and that was when we won the GMP tag titles and I believe they, the other one you're thinking of, which we have a picture for, insert picture somewhere, is yeah. when we are very, very sweaty because they beat us and they took our titles. Boo you. Boo you, Boo Danny, you Danny, Danny Boo Hope. you. Boo you, Joey Hayes. <laughs> Match number two, memory number two. So, like Kelly just mentioned before, GMP, we wrestled for every month. That in was Cresswell. one of our favourites in Cresswell, in a little venue in Cresswell. We knew the fans, it was like always packed, oh, and yeah. it was so much fun, and there was kids, and it was just our ideal atmosphere, our ideal audience, and we loved it. Like, that was one of the places where you really got to know oh, yeah. the people, oh, yeah. and you just... 
relaxed and it was like your people and it was it so was much fun. And like, one of my friends. favorite matches from there, like we had so much fun because we wrestled Brad Flash and Nathan Cruz. It was awesome because it was when we were starting to learn a little bit more yeah. about like storyline <laughs> and selling. And, and we weren't and just wrestling guys. <laughs> you know, we weren't just kind of wrestling them because previously yeah. it was. It was just all about the wrestling. We were going out yeah. there. The guys were awesome and just like taking stuff and we were selling and like loads of things. But yeah. we'd started learning a little bit more and Brad and Nathan <laughs> were like, awesome for yes. this because we just just working with them was so much fun because it's like our brains clicked yeah and we were just kind of coming up with loads of ideas and loads of spots that worked with the fact that we were girls and they were guys and not in the way that me and kelly would be like excuse me i can wrestle you i'm just gonna i just want to wrestle yeah. it was like exciting and interesting it made sense so it was great for us to learn oh, that yeah. and kind of take a step back from thinking I'm not about to just go and like <laughs> yeah. knock Brad Flash yeah. out. It's like, so it was really, really exciting. And I just remember, I think we have pictures of that match and just like, it was so much fun. And mm -hmm. I can't say that enough. And the crowd were with us. It was exciting. And again, just those little bits of storyline in so, it. And sorry, just Kelly. like Brad Flash being cocky, acting like he can get any I girl he know. wants. And Nathan Cruz and just, they and were just and so they good. Were, and they played the characters yeah. so well. And that's well. the thing with all the matches that we either talk about now or just think about, like the guys were so awesome with us. Like we loved wrestling them. To us, it was just, we got out there and we knew they were gonna protect us. We knew they were gonna look after us and it was just they but they we had fun wrestling them like yeah. they just really we seem to all they brought out the them. best yeah. in us a lot of those guys like yeah. absolutely brought out the best in us and it was just it really was, it was the time of our fun. lives like looking yeah. back it looking was back just yeah so much fun the next match we are going to talk about is very very close to our hearts very and special. very very special and it is and i want to say and I correct me martin kirby if i am wrong that it was the first time that chris travis no, and won't. martin kirby actually teamed up as project right. ego yeah. and again the guys were so good to us because they wrestled us and they went out there on shows and they had tag team matches with us and they were just they didn't treat us awesome. any different. They didn't treat us any different. Yeah. They just looked after us. And Chris Travis was always hilarious when we wrestled him because we wrestled him a few times and every single time <laughs> he wrestled us, it was always like he didn't want to hurt us. And we were like, Trav, it's fine. You can hit me and you like, can do whatever. I remember in that match and Kelly remembered it too. She was saying, yeah. did you remember that he was trying to... So we were hard. doing a pile driver oh. and I remember him trying to say, I can't even remember if we practiced it or anything because it was like he was so scared oh, yeah. about doing it on me and I was like, no, it's fine. You know, we're like, me and Kelly are like, no, we're fine. We can take anything. It's good. And he was so nervous about doing it and we did it and I think everything went fine. Yeah. But I just remember that was, being oh, no. so like, and, and that was also like, he was, he was the sweetest thing because he never wanted to hurt us, like kicking us. All we can remember, because we watched that match back recently and all you can hear oh, is Curly! Curly! And it was like that so, was. so funny because they were just a laugh. Like, and most of the time it's hard, oh, it was hard when you're wrestling um, Chris Travis because it was the fact that you always wanted to laugh and it was, and I always used to think, don't laugh, Kelly, don't laugh. And we were lucky because we, two of them we had a few it, matches well. against him. And then in G back to GMP, we had a few matches where we teamed up with him and we were kind of on the same page. And like he rescued me when Bubblegum turned evil and smacked me in the head with a crutch and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, it was like there was loads of stuff going on, but that match was just so funny because I'm sure there was like bits here and there, like messing up her head scissors and just like going, Dude, and it, I, I do. And I, I know. And it was just, but it was just fun Sorry, again. Child. Like the, him and Martin were touching awesome team back then and then now to see what they obviously accomplished like in the last few years was just amazing and was they, also where kelly tripped as soon as she came out of the entranceway that was, was one of those FYI. things again where we were always nervous <laughs> and we ran around the ring before our entrance and i slipped on oh, and that was and also was like, um, the time we got we got a train and was oh, that yeah. the time i was freaking out because our train was late or something Maybe. i can't remember just so and you then know, we, we we used to travel by yeah, ourselves get time. ourselves to shows to london to everywhere and it was all fine because me and Kelly were like, we've got to get to a wrestling show, we're fine. So I remember getting off the train and we were there with our little wheelie bags because we were wrestlers. And then, and this is why, because people know when you've got a little wheelie bag, you're, you're a wrestler. wrestler, apparently, because this guy saw us and went, I think we're going the wrong way. Yeah. And he goes, are you two wrestlers? Or I think he said, yeah, are you you're, wrestling? you're the wrestlers. And I was like, yeah. And he goes, okay, well, you need to go that way. So it's like across the bridge. But it was, mine and Lucy's, it was mine and Lucy's usual kind of like 
step for a wrestling show. Board train, get train, get off train, hope for the best. Yes. That was like literally <laughs> our rule of thumb. Because if we were traveling, we always made yeah, it so We did. But that night was so much fun. Again, I can't remember if that was the first time we'd wrestled Trav and Martin or it was the second because we also wrestled Trav and El Aguera once too. And again, that was equally as that funny was and amusing. where it was 50 <gasps> 50 because no. El Aguero liked to beat the crap out of us and Trav was like, no, okay. actually, that okay. one show I remember because Trav pulled out half my hair unintentionally oh, yeah. and his face backstage was like hilarious because in this match, whatever had happened, at the end of the match I'm lying on the canvas and I'm like, whatever, I, I like, don't know who won or lost but I was lying on the canvas I and I went like this and I kid you not, like, you know when you molt a little bit, this wasn't a little bit, I kid you not, I pulled my hair and I was like, Oh my goodness, like a whole chunk of my hair came out to the point where I didn't want to leave it on the floor because I was kind of embarrassed at that point. <laughs> I was like, bit. so I kind of curled it up and had it in my hand and when we got backstage, I'm yeah. sat there and you know, we're talking after the match and I look at Trav and he goes, you okay? And I'm like, yeah, but you, like what something you happened and you pulled and he didn't believe me until I went like this. He goes, oh my goodness. And I'm like, no, it's okay. And he goes, I need, he was so shocked and I just remember the look on his face at me going, well, yeah, that was you and I don't know that what happened. We had but, so much fun. Like, oh, we learned so, so much from El Aguero, Bubblegum, like Chris Travis and yeah. Martin Kirby and everybody at SAS when we got to SAS. You know, I think we've spoke about the story of like Spud and everybody when oh, we got to yeah. SAS. Um, SAS, SAS. SAS, um, SAS and again, those were like seriously the time of our lives. They taught us so much about selling and started introducing character to us before we yeah. had like a base. So when we came to OVW, we were it was lucky. just like things yeah. were starting to click. So it really, really helped us. They, and we were very fortunate for that. Yeah. Um, and they, they were just some of the good old yeah. days. We still back home have like our oh, scrapbooks scrap book. um, of those pictures and um, who won, like what happened, what oh, we did. Because yeah. we used to love coming That's home. That's the thing, that books and notebooks of who won. Who yeah. <laughs> we used to all come that. home and we used to write them all down. Yeah. and like just little memories along the way just yeah. to you know keep track on them and stuff so like <laughs> I because I, I haven't mentioned this one yet I wrestled bubblegum in a match that I don't think Lucy was at this I don't think I was at the show she was at the show pre she before Kelly started telling that story I couldn't wrestle because we'd just done a week of camps oh no we'd been to London yeah. and done a ca um, done a wrestling show where we wrestled um Roxy and Lisa Fiore oh, she, yeah. and people we don't swear you probably never really heard us swear I did a baseball slide because we were doing at the beginning of the match we were doing like a double whip and me and Kelly had to baseball slide and I landed and you can see it in the match I don't know if we have it somewhere I just completely went down on my ankle and I thought it snapped and I'd broken it I think I said the yeah. f word in a room full of kids in the middle of the ring in so the loud because it hurt so bad and I remember finishing the rest of the thing and obviously just carrying on with the rest of the match yeah. and after I was shaking and Kelly was laughing at me these are another wrestling stories, wrestling diaries on the way home we had like a two three hour oh, trip yeah. and Kelly's texting dad going dad Lucy needs to go to A&E as soon as we get home and I'm in the car, I have a pain in my neck, my ankle literally feels like it's about to break. I'm making noises that Kelly's going, Lucy, stop making noises. I'm going, uh, she was. Uh, she was she scared uh, me because I thought I was dying. Before. Like I legit thought I was dying because I had a pain that was going. Uh, I think I bruised my collarbone somehow as well. Wrestling anyway, people. our mum <laughs> our mum was like, Lucy, I think you should just come home first. Yeah. And get some sleep and we'll see you in the morning. We, she waited in A&E for me because I was adamant oh, yeah. I needed to go. The doctor looked at me and went, oh, nothing's wrong. So I think he gave me some medicine to like maybe calm like bruising or something down. And I woke up the next morning and my ankle was like this big. Yeah, was and mum was like, you should have waited because now the doctor can see something's wrong. Yeah. Anyway, shortcut to that, I wasn't wrestling because I had a Which swollen, to me. I sw a swollen ankle or a sprained ankle that yeah. nearly needed surgery to the point where two weeks later we had a tag match in GMP, which I swear I want to put Trav in that one because I swear it was something we were having a tag match or even Danny and Prince Joey. Prince Amin. Oh no, say. that one and Cameron Craze. And Cameron Craze. Because I thought, no, I'm a wrestler. I can wrestle. And let, needless to say, we did a poetry in motion. As soon as I jumped off Kelly and landed, my ankle completely oh. went again. When we went to Rain's house and his dog farted and Trav was laughing so much. Well, I was icing my ankle. Back no, no, to back me. Go. Okay, this match, uh, the, uh, my match that I'm going to talk about now, we didn't always have singles matches back then. We were mostly yeah. a tag team. And like we said, the guys looked after us and we had so much fun wrestling them. This, this match, dog fart. I was, <laughs> this match, 
I wrestled probably one of my first singles matches and I was equally part nervous and excited because I was wrestling bubblegum. And ever since we first went to our first GPW show and we'd seen like El Aguero, um, Bubblegum, Chris Travis and everybody, we were like, oh my goodness, those guys are awesome. So to wrestle Bubblegum was one of those, oh my goodness, I can't do it, I can't do it. But I was determined that I was going to be like, no, I'm going to kick ass. So this match, I just, I don't even think I have the video of it. Like I may have pictures, I think I do have pictures in the yeah. scrapbook, but I don't have a video of it. And oh my goodness, I know now you probably look back and go, but to me, I, I was like, to me, I was so excited because I feel like I got to do everything and Pip was awesome. Like it just, we did, we, I felt like it was just so, so much fun. And again, one of the things when the guys looked after you and they let us do all the flippy stuff and all the fun stuff that we love to do. So that match is one of the ones that stands out to me as well. Of just being so much fun and a huge deal for Learning, me yeah. to have a singles match and go like 10 minutes or whatever it was with um, someone like Bubblegum Pip. So yeah. It was awesome, but so yeah. We hope you have enjoyed our rambles today, Sit guys. Let us know if you want to hear more wrestling stories. Yeah. If you have any wrestling questions, yeah. Um, we have to say maybe that we could do a wrestling question and answering. Yeah, let us know. Like we this video if you would like a question and um, wrestling question and answer. Ask us some questions that I don't know, like outside the box, like yeah. maybe wrestling ones, because we try and think of ideas and like stories that we can tell you. We had, we had nine years in wrestling and we absolutely loved every single minute of it. Yeah. We're 16 year old girls who went to a training school and met the most awesome people. And we can't finish this video without me um, mentioning guys like Sam Bailey, Dangerous Damon Lee, who is still kicking ass on the wrestling scene back and home. Dirk and Dirk who Yeah, and Dirk Feelgood. Guys who literally just supported, were, supported us, us and gave us so much confidence because that was one thing that me and Kelly like we just believed it ourselves that we were going to be wrestlers yeah. no matter what like that's the naivety of us being 16 years old yeah. and thinking nothing's going to stop you doing it the bumps bruises nothing like we just got on with it but confidence was always something yeah. that we lacked and those guys we wouldn't literally have had the careers or had like you know our wrestling like our wrestling story yeah. our wrestling success you know for us if it wasn't for those people along the way who seriously yeah. They, just really motivated yeah. us and inspired us and gave us a kick up the backside yeah, to be confident yeah. and believe in ourselves. Yeah, Damon Lee was one of the first people who really, really kind of brought us out of our shells and pushed us too because that was important. Because if Damon gave if, you a look oh. that went... Lucy, get, get in, in that ring now. And I was yes. like, no, no, we, we don't want to do it. Damon would look at you and then you're like, oh my God, Damon looked at me. I know, like, oh no. If, if Damon, if Damon wasn't at training, it would be like, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? <laughs> like, oh my goodness. And it was terrifying. And if Damon was there, the funny thing is, it wasn't like if Damon was there, you'd get off easy. If Damon was there, you wouldn't try as hard. It was like, no, if Damon was there, you were going to bust your ass, your ass and you were going to get your ass in gear. But it was okay because Damon was there, so you could do it. So guys like them are guys that we oh, owe so much to and we absolutely love to pieces. So yeah, that's our ramble because we just got so excited talking about these memories and we hope you enjoyed watching it. Until next time, keep smiling and always dream big. Bye, Bye guys! guys.